no, 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 no. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages. Welcome back to the circus and another episode of Just Nope. Now, we talk about EDC on this channel a lot. Everyday Carry, uh, on the off chance you're someone who doesn't know what that acronym means. EDC stands for Everyday Carry, which for most of us is, you know, keys, wallet, phone, and then an assortment of other accoutrements like knives and pens and flashlights and fidget stuff. So, what are we just noping today? Um, right in the center of the screen. Is it a pen? What? Is it a flashlight? Nope. Is it? It can't be a knife, can it? Hot ow! Of course it is. This is the Boker Plus Wagner Urban. This is one and a quarter ounces and about an inch and a quarter of 440C stainless Fury, just well, continue to open properly. I had tweaked it to where it would open reliably and deploy fully, and, and those days seem to have passed us by, so it may be time to tweak again. This is made in Taiwan, if that's important to you. One of the only cool things I have to say about this is that they hid some of the billboarding in a very unique fashion. This is made from 440C. There is a lot of billboarding on this tiny knife, but I like the way some of it disappears behind uh, whatever the heck you want to call that. So, aluminum scales, uh, liner lock, Pocket clip uh, does not work. Supposed to be maybe a, a glass breaker, I believe. <sighs> Compound chisel grind. <laughs> um, I guess we'll call that a harpoon. Um, whatever. If you pay attention, this tip will right out of those aluminum scales sometimes. Part of my tweaking was to get it to stay down in there a little better, but it does every now and then not want to fully close. And even fully closed, you can feel that tip with your finger. Um, it will absolutely grab a hold of your finger, your pocket, uh, and deploy itself. So, um, not so well made check uh, dangerous check um, it's lightweight uh, I, that's about it <laughs> um, it's 60 bucks so it's not cheap so you're paying $60 for something that's made from aluminum and 440C is not exactly uh, what I would consider a safe Implement it is supposed to be for self-defense um, In my hands there's not I mean, I guess I could use one end or the other as a striking tip, but it's not going to be comfortable uh, If it deployed uh, Reliably It still would not be my favorite uh, Potential for self-defense. I, I would rather have like let's size comparison. The pen is a little bit longer, it's lighter yet, and uh, in all honesty, would probably work better for me. Um, this weighs an ounce and a quarter. This weighs slightly more than that. This weighs three quarters of an ounce. This weighs just over three ounces. Deploys reliably deploys just as fast infinitely more useful when you don't use it for self-defense so useful as a tool not useful as a tool would not even open a bag of fertilizer for me so um 
dangerous, expensive, uh, not useful for anything other than piercing tasks, which I don't use a lot. This thing just does not have a place in my world. So, if it looks like something that has a place in your world, that's up to you. If you have one of these and you find it useful, please let me know. Um, I don't, I'm not a self-defense person. I don't go take martial arts or anything like that. Maybe this would be better in the hands of somebody like Uncle Cal. Um, maybe Josh will tell us, uh, which by the way, shout out to Uncle Cal. You want to see somebody who is a genuine inspiration and just an awesome human being, go check out Uncle Cal. Uh, all one word. Josh is just a superhuman being, but he is also into self-defense. Um, and you'll see why if you go check out his channel. But maybe he could tell me what this would be good for, but in my hands, um... Is just too small. Um, maybe it's for children's self defensors. I don't, I probably should have gone out and done some research on it, but I just find this little thing kind of irritating, to be honest. Um, for roughly the same price, I would rather have a flash, a good size flashlight like this Olight Warrior Mini 2 uh, that has striking surfaces on either side, so, um, and it works as a flashlight. That's cool. Um, the Duke Duke. If you're looking at something lightweight, you just want to throw in your pocket for the summer. I know that's what the friend likes to use some of this for. Um, the Duke Duke, the SAK, even the three ounce, the whopping three ounce penguin, infinitely more useful. And by the way, there is a baby penguin coming. I just got it in the mail, so stay tuned for that. But that's really all I have to say. I would rather have any of the other things on this table than that in my pocket for self-defense, for usefulness, for whatever. All of these are far more useful in my world than this thing could ever be. So for me, it is just nope. And I will not be happier than to give this back to my friend who wanted me to uh, review it for him. But uh, at the end of the day, if he's happy with it, that's all that matters. I, is any knife, if it works for you, then whether I like it or not, any reviewer likes it or not, you being happy with it is what's important. So don't let me talk you out of your knife. If it were fit, if you already know it would fit you and a purpose that you have in your life, get it. So if this fits you or a purpose you have, a need you have for it in your life, get it. But for me, just nope. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy, and I'm out.